Welcome back. So while there's other news out there that I do need to do a video on, um, I'm doing a video now on Miko Koivu, as a, who has announced his retirement today. And a, he is sad in a statement. He feels he was unable to get to his expected level this season. This is not that unusual that a veteran player signs a contract somewhere and then realizes pretty quickly, I either it's a, sometimes it's a, it's just the desire's not there. Sometimes it's just the body isn't responding anymore. But this this then points back to Bill Guerin and the idea not to re-sign Koivu, and you say, you know, maybe Guerin knew something here and and knew that uh, that that the days of Koivu playing in the NHL were coming to an end. And so here we go. And and no, he didn't play very many games in Columbus, but it, again, it's not that unusual to see a player at the end of their career start a season and after a few weeks say, I'm not, I don't, I don't feel it. And that just seems to be what's going on with Koivu. And when you look at his ice time, we'll talk about that as we go through this. It was it was definitely down this year. And he was a lot less prominent than he had been with Minnesota. But he's drafted by Minnesota, by these guys. Number six overall pick in 2001. So he'd been in the organization for a very long time. And he's the brother, of course, of Saku Koivu. And sadly, they never played together. Uh, played a similar style. I'm going to go ahead and say that. 2005-2006, uh, after the lockout wiped out season of 0405, he makes his debut. 65, 64 games, 6 goals, 15 assists for him. And then in his sophomore season, he really turns it on offensively. 82 games, 20 goals, 34 assists, 54 points. But he was always good at both ends of the rink. So he's one of these players that if he's not putting up the points, it's okay because he's helping you defensively. And he definitely offered Minnesota a lot from a leadership perspective as well. 2007-2008 has 57 games that season, 11 goals, 31 assists, 42 points. He ended up 8th in Selkie voting that year. It's interesting that he ended up in Selkie voting as as 8th since he missed 25 games that year. So it's impressive he generated enough votes and enough interest that he still ended up top 10 in voting for best defensive forward. 2008-2009, uh, 79 games played, 20 goals, 47 assists, 67 points fourth and selkie voting so again it's a comment i've made that I, I i know it's it's maybe repetitive at this point but it's interesting to me that the defensive forward award you seem to get better uh voting if you also have produced a lot offensively which tells me that maybe the selkie vote should be players scored the most points while being sound defensively uh, 2009, 2010, his best offensive season, 80 games, 22 goals, 49 assists, 71 points. And October 20th of that season, he was named captain of the Minnesota Wild. He was their first full-time captain. So there you go. Uh, Miko Koivu got that. Up until then, you had rotating captains and a lot of alternate captains and various ways of figuring it out, but he was the first full-time captain they had. 2010-2011, 71 games, 17 goals, 45 assists, 62 points. 2011-2012, he played 55 games, missed 27 that year. 12 goals, 32 assists, 44 points. Then we get to the lockout shortened season of 2012-2013. 48 games, 11 goals, 26 assists, 37 points. What's noteworthy too with Miko Koivu's career is, I think if he'd played for a market that had more attention than Minnesota, I think he would have got more attention for voting for Selkie. And I think he would have got more praise than he got in his career. I do expect Minnesota to retire his number. I'd be very surprised if they don't. Uh, play 65 games in 2013-2014. 11 goals, 43 assists, 54 points. Very good passer. Very good passer of the puck. And good at setting guys up. 2014-2015, uh, 80 games played. 14 goals, 34 assists, 48 points. 2015-2016, 82 games. 17 goals, 39 assists, 56 points. So... Pretty strong season there, but then 2016-2017, good two-way season for him. 80 games, 18 goals, 40 assists, 58 points, and he was third in the Selkie voting. So that's the highest he got in Selkie voting was 2016-2017. 2017-2018, 82 games, 14 goals, 31 assists, 45 points. That year he finished fifth in voting for the Selkie trophy. 2018-2019, 48 games, 8 goals, 21 assists, 29 points. And in 2019-2020, he did something impressive uh he was the first minnesota wild player to play a thousand games as a minnesota wild and he did it all in minnesota right 55 games 
Four goals, 17 assists, 21 points. His ice time last year was 15 minutes and 34 seconds per game, which was down from where it had been prior to that. So October 10th of 2020, of course, he signs with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Plays seven games in Columbus, one goal, one assist. He was at 12 minutes and 28 seconds on average. So he was not playing a lot. And he likely looked at that and said, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get back to being the player that I was. And with everything else that's going on over the last 12 months, I don't necessarily blame him. He's had a, a good career. 2006, he wins silver medal for Finland. 2010, wins Olympic bronze for Finland. And 2011, w, double IHF gold for Finland as well. So he retires with 1,035 games played, 206 goals, 505 assists, 711 points. He was at one point elected to play in the All-Star game. He was selected, uh, but an injury forced him out. He was not able to actually make an appearance in that All-Star game. I believe that was the 2009 All-Star game. His playoff career, 59 games, 11 goals, 17 assists, 28 points. Only 59 games played because Minnesota, not a team that ever got over the hump in the playoffs while he was there. Uh, and, and again... I wouldn't put that on Koivu because he's not like a superstar player. He was never a superstar player. Put up some good point totals throughout his career, but he was more of the defensive forward, the leader, the captain. And yeah, so he retires and it's it's too bad. But again, uh, I can understand why he chose to hang him up at this time. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below regarding the career of Miko Koivu. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.